What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we've got another massive tech unboxing. This is number 49. Can you believe it? 50's next, it's gonna be at the end of the year. It's gonna be amazing. But that one's gonna be great, but so will this one because as you can see, we got a lot of tech to open up. So you guys know what to do. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks. I already said that we have a lot of tech to open up then. All right, y'all. So Ari's not here. Jay, my man, start it off. This room. Oh, right Got for it? Yeah. Oh, man, no patience. So what we've got right here is the special edition God of, well, oh man, I'm gonna mess this up. The Hotner edition, the Jotner That was brave. Yeah, I know, right? Now it's so big, the guys here thought this was a PS5 special edition, but it's not. It's just God of War Ragnarok. So let's go ahead, unbox it, see what we got inside. Okay, so we've got some door flaps over here. So this is upside down. So we got our doors over here. Okay, you got your hieroglyphics or something. And, ooh. This ridiculous hammer, oh man. Yeah, come try. <laughs> oh, Mjolnir? And I can lift it, you guys. <laughs> What's that say about me? Oh, you're worthy too, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're not, you're not worthy. <laughs> Just give it up. But let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so we got something here. Oh, dice. Okay, we've got some carvings of like, so that's these guys. I got swords, got our steel bookcase. No, no game inside. Wait, it, they give you a digital code. So what's the point of what's the point of this? Like, are we out here just collecting steel book cases? But there's more in here. Oh, there's another layer, you guys. So this is a cloth map right here. Oh, this thing feels flimsy. It's not flimsy as in cheap, but it's cloth. Legendary ring. Got carvings inside and out. I got too many rings on right now. Cause I got the aura ring and my normal ring and God of War ring. And we also got some pins. Falcon, bear, wolf pin set. There's one more thing. Maybe it's at the very bottom or am I wrong? Uh, where's the last bit? And Yes, you've been, you've been doing this for a while, huh? <laughs> and here we have it, this is the last piece. This is a, a good bit, you get no disc. I'm curious, you guys, do you want a physical disc? Or is like the steel bookcase enough to put on your shelf? Let me know in the comment below. All right, Carl, what are we doing? This one? Oh, so we're just not gonna go for anything in a cardboard box. <laughs> we just wanna, we, you know what you're getting, fine. Get the way, you know? Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, we've got a lamp. Mario? That's why I said don't kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, no, it is, Mar it is Mario. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> throw this on top. So this is a micro USB lamp. All right, let's let's see what this looks like. We got the crazy dock over here with the mic that Jay bought a while back. Plug it into that. Oh, I don't think it's plugged. You don't even use it, Jay? <laughs> it was so expensive. All right, we'll plug it into our Mac. Ah, uh, who bought this? I think I recommend Dom, you got it? Oh, oh, oh you oh. can control the brightness, okay. They are fake. Uh -oh. <laughs> if you are a Mario lover, they got lamps. Kevin. This, this smells like a J product. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah of yeah. course. What do we got here, Jay? I think this is a Iron Man model. That is dope. It's a, oh, that's dope. It's a wireless Iron Man mouse. If his eyes come on, then it's a winner. Oh, we got lights, baby. I mean, can you can you beat that? Okay, so right here we've got an afterglow controller for the Switch. Oh, Switch OLED, interesting. Wonder why it specifies. What stuff does that? When I bought Scarlet and Violet, it said it was for like Switch OLED, I'm like, Aren't they all? <laughs> oh, this, it feels very much like the Switch Pro controller. Micro USB, that's bizarre. Should have a USB-C. Okay, so we're here, you guys. I never see a controller You never see a control, a uh, glowing controller? No. I think you could use a little more glow. I, I, yeah. How do you change the colors, though? 
Oh, is this like a tealish color? Best controller ever, Jay. <laughs> Decent job, Jay. Dom. Dom was about to light it up. Pick the best thing ever. That guy. Okay, let's see. Dom's got to shake this rep of picking not so great boxes. Cheetos. Okay, welcome to Chesterville. Oh, is this like back in Halloween? So we got a bag of bones. Got some dope mac and cheese. I didn't know Cheetos made mac and cheese. That feels like a no-brainer, you know? Like, the, yeah, they mac and Cheetos. Yeah. But they also threw in. What? <laughs> we also got what? a meta quest too. From Cheetos. From Cheetos. As the most unexpected thing. <laughs> Here's the idea behind it, though. So Chesterville is actually somewhere you can go on the quest. Uh, you actually go into Meta Horizon World and you have Chesterville that you can visit. I gotta go and check that out. Hopefully it's still there even though it's no longer Halloween. That'll be pretty dope, but that was a good pick, Dom. I got a good pick. Shout out to you. <laughs> that, you. You did your thing. You lost a bad rep. There you go. All right, my turn. I'm not even gonna lie. I know exactly what this is and I, and I wanna open it. All right. So this is something I've been dying for. So we got the Logitech G502X Plus. If you're familiar with like PC gaming at all, you've probably heard of the G502, whether it's the wired or wireless one. And now there's a new wireless version with RGB lights built into it. There are actually two of them. I think this is the other. So we got it in black and we've got it in white. Which one should I open first, you guys? White, white. I like the black. I like the black. Oh, I'm the, I'm the <laughs> back of square one. I kind of want to see the white too. Nah, this looks clean. This is a very clean looking mouse. Listen, I'm a sucker for the G502 design. Just the ergonomics, the way it feels in the hand, so nice. And I love the little gray accents that they have around it. Oh, come on, man. This is it in black. It's a little a little more subdued. It looks more like the original one. But let's turn on the lights. It's a, it's a very clean looking mouse, you guys. And it has so many buttons that you can program, you can use to game. And in the box, it'll come with the dongle, an extra button. And I'm sure it comes with USB cable, USB C to A and uh, this adapter. Very excited for these. These look amazing. I do think the white looks better though. All right, next up, random box here. Why did I buy this again? Okay, so Amazon makes a smart soap dispenser. So the idea here is basically, you know, you fill this up with soap, there's a little timer at the top. Oh. So let's just, I don't know, it probably detects that it's empty, but Okay, so you're dispensing, you're dispensed, you're washing, and then it's doing the countdown so that you can see that you are currently just halfway there. Keep going. Don't put it in the water yet. And you're done, now you can rinse it off. So that's the correct way to wash your hands. Good for kids. Perfect for kids. Oh, and you can pair it with an Echo device so you can hear things like songs and jokes and news while you wash your hands. You know, cause how boring was that 20 seconds, you know? So if you wanna have a routine so that you can hear the news while you're washing your hands, boom, that's it's the future. And this right here, what's this for? Okay, I gotta pull up my Amazon order, cause what? So this is actually a travel case for this portable charger, anchor portable charger, the big 737. This thing will not fit the 737. No. I got scammed, not even gonna lie. No, I can't take it, but Oh, ha have at it, Jay. Thank you. Just Venmo me. Four $14.99. i <laughs> just kidding. Is this from the P.O. Box? Oh, Jay, is this your, your handiwork? This Kevin. Kevin, oh, that's new. Oh, oh these. Yeah, 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 I remember you talking about these. So we got AirPods Pro cases, silicone cases. Shaped like Ditto. So you can throw your AirPods in here, and bam, you got Ditto. That's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. And you got two. I, I bought yeah. one for myself. You bought one? <laughs> <laughs> Jay's like, yeah, that one's mine. And it does come with a little loop. I like this, this is, this is cool. Dom, two for two, go for it. Big box again. Yes. All right. 
thinking of the no <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Western Digital Black. Oh, okay. We got an officially licensed PlayStation 5 SSD. Christmas is around the corner. Christmas is around the corner. Thank you, Western Digital, for the Christmas <laughs> gift. <laughs> but all right, two terabytes. Of course, you got a read speed of 7,000, up to 7,000. It has the heat sink built right into it. So this is one of those just plug and play. No need to add a heat sink. So we got this. We got the, a little screwdriver, microfiber. But I will say this is a big box. So what else do we have? Oh, hoodie, nice black hoodie. I'll take it. it. Says Western Digital Black right here. Oh, that's very subtle. It's super subtle. Yeah. I'm not mad. I like that. I'm not mad at that though. I like it too. All right, I like this. Thank you, Western Digital. Time to upgrade a PS5. There's no PS5. Is there, where's the PS5? Wait, hold on. They forgot that part. <laughs> Jay, what are we doing? This one. All right. Okay, we still on the PlayStation thing? Oh, I got it. You got this. I'm like, I don't remember buying this. So we got a light up display, holds controllers and phones. Oh, all right. So pull it out and we have our cable, USB-C, respectable. So the, interesting, you can move the mount depending on what you're looking for. So you can move the mount over here. Maybe you don't want to see it. Maybe you just want it to, to live as a light. Boom, you got that option. Dom, we got to bump your lamp for this lamp. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, this would sit really well next to a PS5. And the fact that you can throw a controller on here is pretty cool too. Oh, that's a that's a vibe oh, right there. Yeah. I like that. It's a good find, Jay. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> Carl, what are we picking? I'm gonna do a bad pick. A bad pick? How you, <laughs> how you know it's gonna be bad? I'll take all three I got. I got this. This one? This one. Watch this be amazing. All right, so this is from a company, I'm guessing a company called Light Shield. So basically it's a 3D printed cover, it feels like, for your GameCube controller. You, if you take your, you know, your GameCube controller on the go to smash tournaments, you can protect it and then wrap the cable around. Am I selling you here? <laughs> just put it in the case. <laughs> just put it in the case. All right, Kevin, so you pick now. Oh, so check this out. This is a functional clothes dryer. Saw this on Amazon and I was like, oh, this is a must have. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this could be really cool and unique, but really why, why? You could avoid so much with just an umbrella. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. <laughs> I'd definitely waste some money. I wanna say like 70, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, they don't sell it anymore? <laughs> <laughs> you could put it in your shoe. Like you just, no. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> oh, oh baby. It's been a while, right? It's been too long since we had an Xbox controller in here. And what a comeback. Okay, this is their mineral camo. Ooh, tell me that's not clean, you guys. This is a very, very nice controller. Where are all the controllers? They're in a box, right? In the new spot. All right, cool. Mineral camo. Xbox does it again. So this is another one of those random things I picked up on Amazon, because I was like, okay, this looks interesting. This right here, I know it looks, it looks, it looks silly, right? Now, why is this important, right? Well, a lot of folks out there, they've They've got to be on Zoom calls and like Teams and all that stuff these days when working from home. And apparently, you don't want to watch, just step away from your computer and I guess your away status comes up because your computer is inactive. What this will do, so you plug it in, right? Let me show you. Jay, we got to bump your lamp too. But now let's actually uh, throw a mouse on here. Oh, is that enough? But check out the mouse cursor here. You saw that little bit of movement? That's enough to keep you active. Y'all some scammers out there, man. Y'all are crazy cheating your employers like that. Uh, but no, this is this is pretty dope and it's really inexpensive. So, you know, you got things to do. You gotta go to the supermarket. Grab one of these. I don't think you can just place it right in the center. I think you gotta position it in a way where it'll move the mouse. Oh, what is this? Okay, so we got a mobile gaming controller, a cooled mobile gaming controller from GameSir. Damn, Amazon gift card. Oh, 
okay, this is this is no joke. So this is meant to obviously keep your phone cool while gaming. Now it's USB-C, so this is meant for Android. I will say this does feel very comfortable. Anyway, this feels very comfortable. I like it. Should we just like open the giant box that's here? Oh. This gives me a attack on Titan vibe. Oh, because of the badge, right? It's actually Halo. So this is actually a Hayworth and Halo collab. And this is the headrest right here. And boom, dang. This is crazy. All right, Dom. You're the bigger Halo guy here. Take a seat. It's a good chair. It's a good chair. I mean, that's all you need. <laughs> that's all you need. Oh, and check this out, Dom. I like the gold down there. That's sick. Nice. We got the the Halo Xbox Series X, the controller, this. I feel like there could be some kind of setup or something based around Halo. This is a sick chair though. Oh, okay, yeah, this is something I've been waiting for. So this is a Peak Design, not backpack, it's a sling, I think, everyday sling. So I like the idea of slings. I thought they, you know, I had my stint with them. I like the idea of it. They just, I can't downsize that much, so it's tough. So I wanted to go with one that's a little bit bigger and Peak Design makes a really solid one. Now, the only thing about Peak Design bags is that they're mainly focused on camera gear. So they've got like the camera gear uh, holders over here so you can throw lenses, your camera. Maybe if you're shooting on the go, you wanna have all the things that you're gonna be editing with. Uh, you can throw them all inside of here. Like I said, they got the look down. Just be cool to have some variety. Okay, I don't know how these got in here. These are just batteries. Let me give you some backstory. I actually picked these up for my AirTags. So I don't know if you guys know this, but AirTags, their batteries run out. So if you ever have AirTags and they seem to not be performing as well, chances are you need to change your battery. It doesn't seem like the kind of thing that you should just wait until the battery's completely dead because the functionality doesn't work as well. There's a digital wireless microphone. So it's a wireless lav system for your iPhone. <sighs> It works with a case. That's amazing. All right, so it comes with two mics. You know it's all in that? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Dom. All right, so we're plugged in. We're gonna give this a shot. Testing, testing. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Dom, what's up? Microphone test. Hey, how you doing? These are solid. Okay, so I found this system online. 180 bucks, 179. It's not bad for a wireless, a wireless mic system. Listen, you can get away with a lot of footage from the iPhone without anyone knowing. And it also comes with this. So if you're outside and you're getting your shots, you want to protect your sound from the wind, you can go ahead and use this too. Oh, you're right, Jay, it's a charging case too. I'm actually really happy with this. This is impressive, I'll be honest. Oh, this is the Alpine band from Apple that I bought, but I can't see myself switching out my Apple Watch band. This is actually from Spigen. I don't see it happening. You guys, should we at least open it though? We should at least open it. I mean, this is cool. You know, it has the orange tie-in like the orange button, but I like my other band more. I'm not gonna lie. This is getting returned. <laughs> it's a hundred bucks. It's going back. Another Apple Watch band? I think I bought this. I think I was just looking for cheap options to hold me over for the Ultra. So this looks like the other one that Apple makes, but it's in black. It's a knockoff. A knockoff, yeah. But it's like 20 bucks. It's like a fifth of the price from Apple. I like the quality. While the bands itself, while this part that goes into the watch doesn't feel very high quality, what shows feels just like the band that Apple makes. There should be another box here. So this is the band that I have on my wrist right now. I like it so much I bought two. <laughs> and it really matches the vibe of the Apple Watch Ultra. So I got like a nice little Apple Watch band collection here for the Ultra. This one's going back though. Don't look at that one. So 
So this is actually a key organizer from Keysmart. But what's nice about this is that it has a built-in slot for an air tag. I think I've got this and I uh, don't use it anymore. Oh no. Oh, you used to use this? Why, what happened? Tell me all about it, Jay. <laughs> How did I waste my money? I just destroyed the box. Okay. I can't, <laughs> I can't return it. Because this part, they used to hold the key. Uh -huh. But over time, this part's gonna get loose. You can't just tighten it? If you tighten it too much, uh, the keys, the won't, keys come. won't come out. Oh, so you find yourself like having to tighten it too much? Very frequent if you want to uh, use it like every day. And, and one time it, it got loose too much. And, and then it, it all came out? Like, yeah. <laughs> all right, Jada Bubble Burster, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the idea is cool though. Yes, I, I love the idea though. I'll see if it's as bad as you say, Jay. I'll be the judge here <laughs> for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, it's gone. I can't send this back. Oh, this is from Sony. How do we get to this so late? So check it out, you guys. The PlayStation 5 camo edition. Now listen, I'm not a big camo guy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But from what I've seen on these, they look like they're pretty good. Okay, so this is the camo controller. Nah, that's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. You have all the PlayStation logos or symbols right inside of this. Nice little attention to detail right there. This is not bad. All right, so they also made, oh, I didn't even, I just ripped the box open. I didn't really show. They made face plates as well. That looks pretty good. I feel like on the PS5, it'll look really nice. Better than I expected for sure. Oh, this is, see, I got this with Ari in mind. Well, I guess it's not really for her. Uh, this is a pop socket. <laughs> I know Ari like, she used to like pop sockets for sure, but this one has like tools built into it. So for those of you who aren't familiar with pop sockets, you can kind of just throw them onto your phone and then you use them to hold your phone like this. It also has like this tool. So you've got like a bottle opener. What is this, like a hex key right here? Or you just use it to unbox something. That also works. So a very useful little tool built right into your pop socket. It means you give up MagSafe though. Mm. Oh, okay. So this is something I saw online. So this is like a motorized dolly. So the idea here is you take this, you throw this onto it. All right, so Kevin Lentus's camera. I'm gonna add this to it. Please tell me it has power. Oh, thank God. So if you're shooting some video, right, you can get some like interesting B-roll and it can go left and right. I can see this being a really handy tool for videographers. It easily supports a, like a mirrorless or a DSLR camera. This is actually really cool and it looks so simple. It's so simple. Yeah, 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 you can, uh, yeah, this is not gonna take up a bunch of space. That's pretty dope, right? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Okay, it was $85.99. It's a good price. You get slides, you get spins. So you basically have a slider. Exactly. You can do small turns like this, or even bigger turns like this. Like, this is really customizable. This is a good buy. It matches your camera too. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, these guys are telling me I'm running out of time. Camera's <laughs> All right, let's save some of this for 50. We'll open one last box. Mmm. The Corsair K100 Air Wireless. All right, so the reason why I bought this is you guys heard me talk about Logitech's G915 before. And now it seems like a few other brands, Razer came out with a low profile keyboard and Corsair did as well. So this is one that I have not tried. And my goodness, this is, this is a low profile keyboard. Now this is a mechanical keyboard. So that's what's wild about this. Let's just quickly see what the typing is like. Hmm. I think the G915 has a bit of a better feel when typing but this is also really good. And of course, it's an RGB keyboard. You turn it on, you got all your colors. But it's expensive. It's really, like it's too expensive, honestly. Dang, this is $279.99. Uh, 
But I don't know, I haven't used it yet. I can't, I can't say for sure. Uh, this is just really expensive, but it's also really, really thin. That's kind of sick. All right, he's telling me to wrap it up. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Bam, if you made it this far, another Amazon. Um, but 50 is next, you guys. And we're going, we're going nuts. It is going to be ridiculous, and it's gonna be an amazing way to end off the year. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, be the cool guy or girl. Favorite thing, Carl? Um, Iron Man. Iron Man Mouse? Iron Man. Dom? The chair. The chair, yeah, that makes sense. Jay? Uh, Lego slider. Oh, you like the camera slider? Yeah. Kevin? Logitech Mouse. Logitech Mouse. And I'm, you know what, Kevin, I'm gonna go with you on that one. And that about wraps it up, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. See you in 50.